Breaking news. President Tinibu has offered a fresh appointment to the former chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Jega. And this appointment was announced when Tinibu inaugurated the Presidential Committee on Implementation of Livestock Reforms at the Presidential Villa in Abuja on Tuesday. Tinibu named Jiga as the co-chairman of the committee, established to address and tackle issues of agricultural uh, productivity and open up new opportunities which will benefit farmers, herders, processors, and distributors in the livestock farming value chain. President Tinibu emphasized that the implementation of this reform will require the collective effort of members of the committee during from the public and also from the private sector, state governors, and all Nigerians, and appealed to everybody not to, you know, say that this is more like a partisan politics, and also noted that this is not about politics, but it's about opportunity, it's about Nigeria, and noted that Jiga will preside over and promote the, the objectives of this creation of the Livestock Ministry. Inaugurating the committee, in the council chamber at the state house, the president thanked the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Abdullahi Ganduji, for his effort in assembling experienced and reputable experts to ensure the activation of opportunities in the livestock sector, and noted that Nigerians have for long experienced conflicts. As a result of the former header conflict, he has decided to use this as a unique opportunity to establish a ministry called the Ministry of Livestock Development, which will also give opportunity to all veterinary doctors that can have the necessary access to research and crossbreed, and this will also quell the farmer header clashes. The president noted that the traditional method of livestock farming will be reviewed and repositioned with the support of stakeholders, which include state governors, in order to open up new opportunities for growth and prosperity. President Tinibu said the Attorney General of Federation, the Minister of Justice, Mr. Latif Fagbe Misan, will ensure the removal of all legal obstacles to the implementation of these reforms, while the Minister of Information, Communication, Innovation and Digital Economy, Dr. Bosun, will provide support with automation and Modern technology would also be available for this. Now, the president had noted that Nigerians can finally take advantage of livestock farming, dairy products, and others, which will offer substantial commercial and economic advantages. So the people should seize this opportunity. But guys, a lot of people see this as another way of playing politics. And they see this as a political move by President Bolad Metinibu. Because for long, the Mieti Alakatu Breeders Association have been crying that they want Ministry of uh, Livestock Development, that they want Ministry of Livestock Development. So I think this is just a means by President Bolad Metinibu to settle some certain people in the north. This is a political settlement, the way we are seeing it. It's more like a political settlement because why would the president create another ministry of livestock when we have Ministry of Agriculture? He's creating Ministry of Livestock Development. When this ministry can be under the Ministry of Agriculture, even the Ministry of Agriculture, we are yet to see their, their impact on agricultural productivity in Nigeria. Are they making significant impact towards agricultural productivity? No, they are not. When the president is yet to sustain the already existing ministries, he's creating another one. And you know how much money would be this burst into that ministry. When the, co when the country is trying to cut down cost of governance, the president is going ahead, creating more ministries. Even the former president, Mohamed Bouhari, as a ranch owner, did not see the need to create Ministry of Livestock. So why did President Tinibu decided to create this Ministry of Livestock Development when it should be under the Ministry of Agriculture? Because it's not making sense. He said this will stop the former header clashes. I think this is more to that. Because the former header clashes has nothing to do with this ministry of, of uh, livestock development. How are they going to go to 
various states that are having farmer header clashes. If this president has the political will to change the narrative in this country, he will. But no, we are not seeing any political will. We are just seeing policies, misplaced policies that will not solve anything, that will only benefit some certain people politically. So if Tinibu is doing all these things because he wants to, you know, he wants to please some certain ethnic uh, nationality in the country, well, let's watch how everything will play out. Yes, let's watch how everything will play out. It's a good idea. Oh. It is a good idea. This Ministry of Livestock Development, it's a wonderful idea. It's a brilliant idea. Nobody is criticizing the idea. But why create another ministry when it can be under the Ministry of Agriculture and it can be sustained? Yes, we know that this would lead to economic growth in the country. But then, if you say it's because of the clashes between farmer and herders, I think there is more to that. The Ministry of Livestock Development will not be able to handle the farmer header clashes because this would also involve state governors. The state governors need to also put their hands together to address these issues by ensuring that they impose state bans on open grazing across all, all, all states in Nigeria. They should put a ban on open grazing across all states in Nigeria. But then the Mieti Alakatu Breeders Association also commended the president for this uh, creation of this you know ministry it seems that their prayers has finally been answered by president bola tinibu so they were quick to commend the president they were quick to applaud the president over you know this creation of this ministry and jega also has been given appointment you know for this but then the idea is a good idea but I hope this is not just a political uh, move by the president to appease some certain persons, you know. If this would indeed be a source of job creation for Nigerians, it is, it is to be applauded. It is to be applauded. But then, I hope that this is not just another means of, you know, uh, pleasing some certain persons and then, you know how much money would be pumped into this ministry. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.